Okay, so people think that if you have a, a two or three hours of English in the primary school in Spain, it, you know, it, the, the children in question will be vastly, dis, uh, vastly advantaged as compared with people who start later. Um, and this is despite the fact that with respect to formal instructional L2 learning environments, the research has simply failed to confirm any long-term benefits of an early start in formal situations. It isn't true that if, if your children uh, encounter two, three or three hours of English in a primary school, when they get to 16, they'll be better than they would have been if they had started at age 12, for example. There's no evidence that at all. Um, one of my um, colleagues in, in, uh, that I, with whom I work in, in Barcelona is Carmen Munoz, okay? And, and she argues that the expectation that younger instructor beginners will in the long run outperform older instruct, uh, instructor beginners after the same amount of classroom exposure is not at all warranted. Certainly not in the typical limited uh, input classroom setting that most, most, most of these children encounter. Um, there is simply no evidence for that. Munoz claims that the kind of la language learning at which young learners seem to excel in naturalistic environments, okay, so in, on, you know, in learning on the street or in, amongst friends and so on, requires vastly more input than a typical instructional setting supplies, okay? You, you think about it. I think just think about how much uh, interaction, input, a, a migrant child, for example, will get in the course of a, of a day, of a week, okay? They're going to school, for example, they will get all the school day, they have um, chats with in, the, in, the, in, the, in, in the playground with, the, with their friends. Vastly more input than you would get, the child would get in a, in a, a school setting. Even in an immersion school setting, I would say. The implication is that younger learners in, in the input impoverished classroom setting cannot hope to have the same learning advantage as younger learners in the naturalistic setting. Older learners, Munoz suggests, can be expected to exhibit a, a faster rate of learning than their juniors in former educational settings, owing to their superior cognitive uh, um, development, okay? They're, they're, they're further along the road of, of cognitive development. They're, they're, they have a different kind of cognition. They seem to be more suited to the formal instructional setting, okay? Um, and they, therefore, they can cope better with the kind of learning opportunities which most classrooms make available. Would you mind if I took off my jacket? No. Hot. Okay. Now, um, in the in the literature, people talk about ten years as um, an important figure for in a naturalistic setting. You know, they say that after ten years in the naturalistic setting, you're probably not learning much more. You get re reach the point where you're, you you gone as far as you can go. That, that's, that's, that, that, I mean, I'm not sure that I agree with that, but that's what's normally said. Now, notice that in terms, in, in terms of normally spaced L2 units of instruction, okay, uh, in, in, an in, in an instructional con uh, context, 10 years worth of teaching slots corresponds to an amount of real time that extends far beyond the span of a lifetime. Okay, so if you if you translate ten years into actual hours of exposure, and then you translate the, those hours of exposure into teaching slots on an all uh, rate of teaching, you would need more than a lifetime to to to, to encounter all those teaching slots. So it's it's, it's a, you know it's not a fair comparison uh, to uh, the to compare the amount of exposure you get in a classroom over 10 years and the exposure you're, get, you're getting in the, uh, on the street as well. Also, the requisite that learners re receive substantial amounts of L2 input in order to attain very high levels of efficiency 
uh, it's not true that that's guaranteed in uh, an instructional context. So, the, the, so we're talking about, as I've said before, impoverishment in, uh, in, a, in, in an instructional setting as opposed to a naturalistic setting. Given all of this, the concept of younger beginners in an instructional setting, L2 instructional setting, outperforming older beginners in such a setting in the long run doesn't seem to be at all well grounded. So, um, I was I was in Japan recently where they where they've um, they've started introduced they've introduced English into the primary school along with a lot of other countries and and you know uh, the the fact is that politicians introducing these things very often say of course if we introduce uh, English into the primary school your children will be advantaged okay nobody seems to have uh, read the research. Uh, the fact is that when people say this, they're lying. Okay? It isn't the case. It isn't the case that starting, early in, uh, uh, starting English early in, in the primary school is going, to, is going to advantage the learners in question. That's not a reason for not doing it, okay? but, it, but it, uh, we, we should at least be honest with parents. You know? Parents seem to think it will advantage their children to have um, English early on. And I think this is about time we opened their eyes. The, 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 the English they're going to get in the primary school will no doubt have benefits in other ways, but it, 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 that such learning will not advantage the, the children in question in terms of their ultimate proficiency in, in the language in question, English in this case. And uh, when I said this in Japan, people seem to be taken aback somewhat. Uh, I, I had a number... And, and, uh, they said you should have come here three years ago, <laughs> but it doesn't matter what what what, what linguists and applied linguists say. Politicians will um, they, they're interested in having a popular uh, profile, and that will give them a proper popular profile. I, I mean, I, I know in um, well in Catalonia that there's been a lot of teaching of English early on. I'm not saying it's a bad thing, but as Munoz's own uh, research shows, it, it doesn't necessarily meet, lean to high proficiency in, in, in the, in the learners in question. Uh, despite um, this, the, the rather un, un, unpromising uh, research results from the point of view of uh, people wanting to reduce um, second language into, a, into the primary school, there's been a there's been a, a, a worldwide trend towards the introduction of additional languages early early into school curricula, and I, as I said, the reason seems to be the almost universal belief on the part of parents, whose views and demands have an, a, a major impact on on the decisions of governments, that an early start in L2 instruction is a panacea overriding and neutralizing all other factors. Uh, I, I always talk in this context about the teaching of Irish in, in the Republic of Ireland. Irish is, uh, Ireland, Irish is a, for most inhabitants of Ireland, is a second language. It's spoken by a very small proportion of the population of Ireland uh, as, as a native language. Um, uh, but it's the first official language of the country. It's a, it's, a, it's a national badge, okay, and it's been in the primary schools in Ireland since Irish independence, since well, for more than a century, okay. Now, if it were the case that um, just introducing the language into the primary school would would revitalise the language, okay, Ireland ought to be um, at least bilingual by now, okay, but unfortunately, it isn't true that Ireland is a, a bilingual state. It, it is uh, Irish, the teaching of Irish in the schools has been a disaster, as is admitted by the, by the Minister, Minister for Education recently, and as was admitted some years ago by the man who was in charge of this operation. So what, whatever else we can say, we can say that introducing a language into, a pri into the primary schools won't rescue the language of, of, on its own, okay? So it's, it, you, you have to do much more than that. I mean, as you know yourselves in Catalonia, right? Um, but introducing a language early into, a school, into the schools doesn't solve the problem. 
or doesn't, it, it, it cannot rescue the situation of itself. And can, in fact, they can make things worse. You know, if somebody, um, for example, take a child who was introduced to, uh, um, let's take another country, let's, let's take France, okay. Let's take France. In France, uh, some years ago, the, the then Minister for, Educa for Education decided from certain date X, all French primary schools will teach languages other than the French. English was, of course, the, the, the major pair in this. No preparation, no preparation of materials, no, prep, no preparation of teachers and so on. For a while, it was a complete disaster. Okay? And uh, imagine yourself as a ch French child entering a, a primary school where English be, was being taught badly. Okay? That could have an impact, not on, on, only on your attitude towards the English language, but on, on your attitude towards learning other languages generally. You know, it's, it's, it can be, can be, can be, can be dramatic. If, if, the situ if the experience of learning a foreign language in primary school is bad, okay, uh, and um, or um, yes, is a, is a bad one, uh, ill-prepared one, and so on, it's, this can influence your attitude towards languages uh, throughout life. I would say. In the educational um, context, the age factor, okay, whatever else. It, one say about, one can say about it. Whatever, whatever, whatever be, may be the, n the nature of the age factor in language learning, okay, in the educational context, it guarantees nothing. Okay, that's, that's, that, that, if, they, if, you, if you take one message away from this talk, I want you to take that away. Okay, the age factor of, it will of itself guarantee nothing in, in the educational context. That's, it's not a reason. I'm not arguing against the idea of t teaching languages only, but. There may be other things we can say in favour of teaching languages only. Many things, but we shouldn't ever uh, believe that uh, starting early in, a, in, a, in, in the school setting will guarantee an advantage for the learners in question. It won't. Now, let's turn to some other factors. The input factor. Um, this has uh, been somewhat dismissed uh, in terms of its importance compared with, uh, with age. Um, but we'll see, it's, it's not as unimportant as all that. Yeah, Dinak, a Polish researcher who, who is a, f a, f a friend of the critical period hypothesis, uh, she investigated some subjects who had no significant contact with English as an to before the age of 15 which in her study is assumed to be the critical age, okay, but who subsequently reached a very good or excellent level of proficiency. And she examined some of these learners, the excellent learners of English in L2 who started late, um, she, by questionnaire interview, an audio recording of the, of, of the reading of, of a text and giving a short speech in the L2. And then their performance was judged by native speaker judges, okay, Seven of these 35 uh, learners, late learners of English, were judged to be native speakers. <laughs> so, you know, if age starting early guarantees nothing, it isn't the case that starting late means you're a disaster. You know? um, and, and in these seven, amongst these seven learners, it, it was discovered that what they had in common was a um, uh, uh, longer, longer, longer period of learning. Length of learning seemed to emerge as the dominant factor relative to, to level of attainment. Yadinak, um, this is a problem for Yadinak, she, sh she shouldn't have found, according to her view, she shouldn't have found anyone in that kind of category. But she said, um, well, maybe um, some learners aren't bound by the constraints of the critical period, having a high degree of neurocognitive flexibility and or being more aware, being more motivated. She said this kind of thing, these kinds of things might override the critical period. 